to attract overseas workers to the Northern Territory might be the answer to fill the population void and fill gaps in occupation shortages. The Territory Government hopes to entice overseas professionals to move to the NT, but will they stay? The second Designated Area Migration Agreement, or DAMA 2, will allow visa holders to fast track to permanent residency after working in the NT for at least three years. They'll then be able to apply for permanent residency, but will need to live and work in the Territory for a minimum of five years in one of the 117 occupations where there are currently shortfalls. That means that we are going to be able to fill jobs in the Territory that at the moment are being advertised and can't be filled locally with new Territorians. While an additional 36 occupations have been added to the list, such as childcare managers and hotel receptionists, NT farmers have missed out with no new occupations announced to cover the staffing shortages they experience. We work with farmers in the Northern Territory um, and they have expressed their you know, their difficulties to attract and retain staff for their farm. And they need a whole range of occupations, you know, they need uh, farm hands, they need people who work with their animals. The announcement may be good news to those wanting to migrate to Australia, but how much do they really know about the Northern Territory? Well, uh, NT government needs to be commended for this particular initiative. I think there's some room for raising the awareness of NT Darwin and other places, Alice Springs, etc. A strategy aimed at going some way to solving the territory's growth problem. Rani Heyman, ABC News.